up guys? Dave Mate doing another video for Mind Pedals. It's been a minute since we've done this where we just spoke about life, society, art, philosophy, metaphysics, every topic you could imagine. I mean, isn't it infinite? Infinite potential, infinite topics, infinite expressions of ideas. So that's what Mind Pedals is. You know, remaining open, remaining receptive, remaining sharp as a tack, but also remaining like silly putty, soft, open, flexible. Salud, Dave Mate. like looking at a, at a star. Looking up at a star, one single star at night. It's almost invisible. It's almost just an idea, a dream. But that's sort of like how it feels sometimes when you're following your passion, when you're following what you love and you experience the difficulty of expressing yourself in that matter, in that pursuit. It almost seems impossible at times. Like Steve Jobs said, you have to sort of be crazy. Because there's an inherent failure mechanism that's built into every passion, that's built into every dream. This mechanism constantly fills your heart, fills your mind, with doubt, fear, consequences, shadows, but it's absolutely necessary because it constantly tests to see how badly you really want to succeed. This is akin to antioxidants in the body. Now logically you may say, well, if there were only antioxidants in the body, wouldn't the body be pure health? Wouldn't it just be a pure ball of health? There would be no free radicals? But then I would say no, because in order for there to be an antioxidant, there must be its polar opposite. There must be this other end of it, which is the free radical. So in a sense, they need each other. It's like the yin and the yang, the up and the down. The immune system needs exercise. It needs to combat disease, it needs to combat viruses, it needs to combat bacteria, and in doing so, it's gaining intelligence, it's building more antibodies, pieces to the puzzle that collapse disease, collapse bacteria, collapse viruses, destroys their DNA. And it's like going to the gym, you have to work. When you go to the gym, your muscles get torn apart, ripped, shredded. But then what happens? You recover, grow stronger, healthier. Just like looking at that star, that star is so far away. But every single day, every single moment must be a pursuit of that star. Even if it's just a whisper, even if it's just this little Scintilla, you could hardly even see it. But how hard is it to pursue something where we live in a system that we've created that doesn't promote this sort of thought? The artist in this given society is one that is misplaced, awkward, not readily accepted because the artist sees things that are beyond the physical reality, that are beyond bricks and physical objects. The artist is one that has to believe that something can be achieved even if he can't or she can't see it right now, which cannot be quantified 
in this ever calculated, tabular, numerical system we live in. So the artist is one that sees that star so far away, but continually, consistently, persistently, courageously, unapologetically pursues that light, no matter how small it is. You sort of have to be crazy to do that. You sort of have to be insane. Because the true definition of insanity and being crazy is one that truly just believes in their self and does what needs to be done in pursuit of his or her dream. When everyone else is thinking very homogeneously, very linearly, of course the pack of sheep are going to call that black sheep crazy, you know, because he strayed from the pack. Who has the courage to pursue that almost invisible dream? Who has the courage? Salud. My name is Dave Monte. Check me out uh, at circleofdrink.com. Constantly sipping my yerba mate tea. Helps me think, helps me feel great, helps connect me, helps ground me. Uh, thanks for watching these videos, guys. Appreciate it. Mind pedals are still alive. And I'll catch you guys on the other end. Salud. Peace.